All right, what is going on, guys? Check this out. Just today, we got announced the new leagues for old school RuneScape here. We got Leagues 2. Uh, Trailblazer is the title of this. This update, August 14th, 2020. I have not read through this yet, and I'm really excited, so I wanted to record this and dive in with everyone. Let me make this a little bit bigger even, or not. Maybe that was actually the fine size. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I really loved Leagues 1, uh, First League, Twisted League. That was epic. I uh, played the crap out of it, ended up with the Rune Trophy, and it was a ton of fun. So I've been patiently waiting to see what they're going to do here for Leagues 2. So let's dive in, kind of like this logo. This logo kind of looks like something from, like, I don't know. This reminds me of, like, the Heroes of the Storm. I don't, I don't know what it is with OSRS and making, like, non-old school logos but whatever i'm excited so here let's read through it's finally time to introduce you to leagues 2 trailblazer in this approximately two month league you will start off as a fresh account on a separate game mode locked in mistalin where it all originally began you must complete tasks to unlock more areas but choose wisely you can only pick so many options um ooh, that's kind of interesting okay as with the last league, the more tasks you complete, the more points you get, and the more relics you can unlock. Let's drill down into the details. So this, okay, this has got a cool premise to it. I guess in this one, you choose to unlock areas. Like, you do tasks, and then you unlock more areas. So that's kind of neat. Um, uh, and once again, looks like uh, relics. So <clears throat> relics. So let's look at the rules. Rules. Area locks. You will start locked to Mistalin. You can unlock, uh, which here, you know what, let me pull up an old school RuneScape map. Okay, here's an old school RuneScape map. So you might be wondering, where is Mistalin? This is the kingdom of Mistalin. Can I, yeah. So Mistalin is basically, um, I guess not there. It's think of like free to play kind of minus like over here. So you got like Lumbridge Swamp, Draenor probably, uh, probably not this area. Um, Varrock, Alcarid, here. I don't know if the Wilder. I don't think the Wilderness is included in that. But just like think of Varrock and Lumbridge and possibly Alcarid and stuff. Maybe Draenor. That area is gonna be Mistland. So that's our starting area, I guess. You can unlock more areas by completing a fixed number of tasks. Um, instead of league points, okay. Um, interesting. So maybe now they're not going to count it. Because before they had tasks that were weighted. Um, so it'd be like you'd have like an easy task, which was, you know, worth like, I, don't know, I forget, five league points and like a master, which is worth like, let's say, 500. So maybe now it's more about, you know, it's just everything counts as one, at least for the areas, it looks like. Your choice of area will be limited, so choose wisely. Current and Kibos cannot be unlocked. Okay, interesting. So, uh, the reverse of Twisted League. You can't go there at all. Uh, only the existing respawn points for areas you've unlocked will be available. Okay. Death's Office, the player-owned house, random events, and the Essence Mines will all be accessible from all areas. That's pretty cool. Uh, tasks assigned by Slayer Masters will take place in areas available to you. Okay. Be warned, should you somehow manage to escape the area, you'll be teleported back quickly. Okay. I hope this will be fun. I, I kind of, you know, always wanted to see someone break out of uh, Zaya in the last one, so I wonder if anyone will be able to break out in this one. Gotta love the spaghetti code that, you know, you get to see with these. We'll be revealing which areas you'll be able to unlock closer to release. Okay. And I'm not sure, I don't think we have a date yet, but I would expect it'll probably be around the same time as last year's, which started in, like, uh, I believe October or November, if I remember correctly. Okay, um, Iron Man, Iron Woman mode will, uh, with accelerated XP rates, okay, yep, so same thing about Iron Man mode, you get the accelerated XP, there will be no trading, duh. To accommodate the increased number of iron players, select shops will have more supplies and accelerated recycling rates. Very cool. Everyone will have five times base XP. So that's the same as Twisted League. Starting stats, uh, you start with three herb lore and ten agility. That's pretty neat so that you can use the drainer course and herb lore. Quests and diary unlocks. Um, uh, they'd be um, impossible to unlock without. So Druidic Ritual, Lost City, both completed beforehand. Hmm. 
not require I don't know why I don't I don't get exactly why these two are both here because Lost City I mean neither of these seem like inaccessible areas maybe they just mean right off the bat I'm not sure maybe I'm having a a dumb moment someone let me know what you think that means we will let you know closer to release about any further unlocks. For example, we are currently considering unlocking Dragon Slayer 2 to allow players access to Ruin and Adamant Dragons while they are contained in Mistlin. What the fuck? Where are Ruin and Adamant Dragons going to be in Mistlin? Okay. Interesting. This will be a fun Frankenstein Tasks, which has a new logo. I don't think that was a Twisted League one. It was, like, green. Tasks are a collection of goals and achievements that you complete com, 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 complete within the league. These span various activities such as skilling, obtaining drops, killing creatures, uh, completing quests, and even playing mini games. Completion of a task will award league points that can be used to unlock relics and other rewards. Points received uh, for completing each task will be subject to balancing, but will ultimately be based on the tier of the challenge. So yeah, they're going to have points again. Tiers range from easy to master, yep. However, area unlocks will be gained according to the total number of completed tasks, regardless. Okay, that's cool. Uh, obviously, because of how Trailblazer works, some tasks will be area-specific. Examples of area-specific tasks include enter the Cooking Guild, defeat Obor, craft 50 water runes, <sighs> receive a Slayer task from Vanaka. God, I remember doing books to 77 runecrafting at the uh, RCS Library in Twisted League. Good times. Receive a Slayer task from Vanica. Vanica. Examples of general tasks can include cook a hundred sharks, obtain a mark of grace, equip a U short bow, defeat a goblin. Wow, that's that, that's a tough one, but you know, hey, I, that's fine, easy. Okay, we've also tried to ensure uh, that every area will have roughly the same amount of obtainable points, so as to not sw sway your decision. That's good. I hope they uh, balance that well. Relics. Okay. Oh boy, I'm so excited. They probably won't tell us all the relics, but the starting ones like last time. Okay, I don't. Let me read this first. Relics provide buffs. In case you didn't know, with last league, uh, which you can customize your gameplay experience. Unlocked via league points, relics can offer XP boosts, buffs to combat prowess, uh, additional luck on obtaining drops, or even specific skilling buffs. When you begin, you'll be presented with three free relics, allowing you to shape your strategy from uh, them off. Which means that you have to choose from one of them, though I believe. So you don't get all three. Uh, you'll have three. You pick one. And then you can't change what relic you pick if it's like last one. Don't stop there, though. As more relics, uh, the more relics you unlock, the more powerful the buffs become. For the first time in this league, each time you unlock a relic tier, you will also unlock a passive buff. Mm, this is interesting. There will be six tiers in total. Wow. So that's uh, Twisted League had five relic tiers, so this is cool. So which tier one relic will you choose? Oh, let's look, baby. Let's look, baby. Endless Harvest. Okay, that sounds like... Uh, what was it even called? Hardcore Harvester, maybe? Resources gathered from fishing, woodcutting, and mining will be multiplied by two. Okay, Hardcore Harvester was three. Resources generated this way will not provide any additional experience. Okay, I think that's the same as Hardcore Harvester. The resources you gather are sent directly to your bank if you have a space. If not, wow. So that kind of combines uh, Hardcore Harvester from last league with Arcane Courier, which was a resource that would just basically send stuff to your bank. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. That sounds nice. <clears throat> Production master. When doing the following activities, all items will be... Oh my god, processed at once. I love leagues, man. Awarding full XP. Smelting ores, smithing bars, making cannibals. So that means if you have an, a full inventory of, let's say, like, uh, gold ore, you just click on the furnace, boom, one smith, and they're all smelted. Same with, you know, making stuff, making cannonballs. Dude, making cannonballs? Imagine if you just had like 10,000 steel bars and you just click it. You just click on the, on, oh man, they're all made at once. You know, I, I was kind of joking with some buds recently that they should do that with rune crafting. You know, if runes are stackable, make pure essence stackable. Just click on the altar, boom, 99. Just get like a million essence. Quickest 99 in the game. That's how it should be. And that's how, I guess, this relic will work. Fletching logs, cutting bolt tips, all instant Cleaning herbs, making potions, all instant. Cooking food, making jugs of wine. Um, crafting leather, uncut gems, glass, jewelry, stuff like that. That saves a lot of time. That's pretty cool. I, I, it's so cool what they do with the spaghetti code and how they get all this to work without, you know, breaking the game every time. Which they kind of do, but, you know, we still love them. And then the final free relic. Skilling Prodigy. Nice. All non-combat skills will be permanently boosted by 10. 
Okay. When skills are boosted beyond 10 levels, the boost will over time drain. Yep, back to the standard. Um, by the same token, when skills are drained down, they will eventually restore. Um, interesting. This one seems initially much less overpowered than these. I would understand this if it was a shorter league. This doesn't seem that good. This seems like it'll give you early points and early access. Like, let's say, you know, there's the thing about you got to cook like 10, 100 sharks for league points. If you're at six, you know, it's 76 uh, fishing, I believe, to fish sharks. This means at level 66, you could fish sharks, you know, with like a natty boost and do everything a bit earlier. But comparatively to these guys, like, if this was an XP rate boost of also 10, um, I don't know. I don't know about this. I feel like this is going to be the underpowered one. But, you know, we'll see what happens uh, the further we go on. Um, and then what's our passive unlock for tier 1? Oh, man. Hashtag no more walkers, dude. This is endless endurance, dude. Endless endurance gang gang from League 1 was you just had, you know, never ran out of run. And from the look of it, no one will ever run out of run energy in Twisted League, which makes, uh, you know, graceful outfit stamina pots completely useless. Epic and agility also completely useless, except for uh, I imagine there might be um, you if you use a shortcut, you, you'll you probably get, you know, league points for certain things and, you know, agility levels. OK, that's only the beginning. Prepare to see a return of some old favorite relics. Nice. And some incredibly powerful new ones in leagues, too. I'm so excited, man. I'm going to stream a lot of this when this comes out. Mark my words. Go to twitch.tv slash my Gary right now and and follow me or YouTube where I stream. Okay, rewards. Oh, that's a pretty pretty trophy. If you manage to place among the top pioneers in Trailblazer League, you'll be handsomely rewarded. And this looks, this is the same. Okay, so these are all the same. Uh, this is the thresholds of basically the points that you need. So I made it to Rune Last League, meaning I was in the top 5% of player base <clears throat> of Twisted League that had points. Top 1% Dragon, that's very sweaty. That was really hard. Something that was kind of disheartening and discouraging with Last League was account sharing, where, um, you know, people were cheesing it by just, you know, they'd play, like, 12 hours, 8 hours a day, and then they'd just have a couple friends. As soon as they log off, boom, other friend logs on, different time zone, whatever it is. And a lot of people got to Dragon that way, and it was kind of like... So I, I would love for them to try to tackle that as an issue this time. Um, I just... I, I, I would love to grind for the Dragon, but it's not healthy, Frankly, I mean, it's like it, it's either not healthy or you cheat, you know, it's like, sure, you can do it if you play 20 hours a day. But if there's if there's four people that are playing five hours a day on one account, they'll, you know, just as kind of easily do it. So I hope they tackle that issue. Let's see. They discuss this. Many of you felt like getting into the top one percent was too easy in the last league. <laughs> That's a joke, dude. They're trolling. They're literally trolling. So as a result, this time, we'd like to offer a new target to aim for, the Trailblazer Trophy. The fuck is that? Are you kidding me? This untradeable cosmetic will only be rewarded to those who rank among the top 100. Is that this? I hope that's not this. This looks like a ruined trophy, but I don't know. Uh, let us know your thoughts on this. I think that is very bad. If they don't tackle the issue of what I just talked about with account sharing, I think that is very bad and... Yeah, good luck to uh, whoever decides to do that for, you know, the two months or so this league will last. Good luck, because it's bad enough already getting to Dragon. So think about it. There's, There was, like, uh, at least a 1,000 people in, in the Dragon. So, I mean, yeah, good luck. Let's look at the rewards. Rewards gained will fall under two categories, League to League and Main Game. Okay. As the name suggests, uh, it, for League to League, those who participated in the Twisted League will see these on your account. I did. When Trailblazer begins. If you weren't a Twisted Leaguer, if you're not, you can earn these rewards for the next league. Uh, league to League Pets. Any injured pets gained in the previous league will carry over to the next. Should you lose them, the League Tutor will allow you to reclaim your pets. Pets from the previous league will not count towards uh, completing any pet-specific tasks. Okay. I don't know. That's all right. League right-click icons. A uh, unique symbol representing the tier you placed in the previous league will appear when a player right-clicks you. Epic. Uh, league rank worlds, mithril adamant and rune league rank worlds will be accessible. Ah, oh, see, this is tough because you know, now I want the clout. You know, I I, I played on two accounts uh, last Twisted League, my main my Gary account where you know I got rune league, which is obviously the second best, and then my 
my uh, an, an alternate account where I got Adamant League. And I was thinking maybe for this league I would only play on the alt because, you know, on my main for, like, that's, like, two months where I could be doing, like, AFK things to, to max, you know, get closer to maxing out my account. But now, I mean, if someone right-clicks my name, they're going to see the rune, you know? They're going to see that rune. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this now. Will I play the main for two months and put, you know, the main in the main world on Sideburner? Probably. And I'll probably still play on two accounts at once. Um, League Rank Worlds, Mithril, Adamant, and Rune. Wow, League Rank Worlds will be accessible based on the tier you ranked in the previous league. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. If you're ranked in the Adamant tier, you can access both the Adamant and Mithril Rank Worlds. If you're ranked in the highest tier, you can access all the Rank Worlds. Okay. <clears throat> I mean... Uh, I don't, that's kind of, okay, I guess, I don't know, uh, okay, I, no, I guess that makes sense, so they'll have, like, a dragon world for the real sweaty people, I don't know, I think it'd be cooler to have everyone together, you know, undiscriminately, but that's fine, uh, league armor sets, based on how you place, you'll be rewarded an armor set that can be used in the next, I'm guessing this is cosmetic, right, this will be a basic set of starter armor with varying stats that can assist in the early league gameplay. Armor awarded or awarded armor will be no higher than Mithril. Okay, so as to avoid too much early game advantage. So, I think I'm not sure exactly what they're saying here, but if it's varying, maybe like if you play some dragon, you'll have like Mithril tier armor, and Rune would be like the tier before, below that. I don't know how I feel about that. I think every league should be fresh and not you know have an advantage like that too much, even though it's like a small thing still. Okay. As they only affect the world specific to leagues, these rewards will not be pulled. No! Integrity issue. Main game rewards. League points can be subsequently spent in the league reward store in the main game. These rewards will be cosmetic and tradable unless otherwise stated, and will be blogged and pulled at a later date. As a reminder, if you have any points left over from the previous league, you can still use them in the shop. Got any ideas? Let us know. And that's it. Your feedback will help shape Leagues 2 Trailblazer. Help us by designing tasks, creating new rewards, or just theory crafting and shit. As with Twisted League, we want to make sure that uh, we can make Trailblazer the best it can possibly be. Stay tuned on Monday at 5 p.m. BST over at Twitch for some in-depth discussions uh, around Leagues 2 Trailblazer. All right, that's pretty neat. Wow. Um, so you hear, you heard them, folks. Go over to read it. Go, go, go get, go get those updates. Go get that karma on Reddit. You know, post some, post some things. You know, post something. Get, uh, get negative twelve downvoted, and then, and then cry yourself to sleep. You know, that's Reddit. So go, go do that. And yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this new league thing. This is really cool, very neat, and I hope you're as excited as I am. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Twisted League, streaming it, and just having a great time when this comes out. So, really excited. Good job, old school team. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.